Good morning, everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and today I'm going to make some homemade biscuits. And I have not made homemade biscuits in a long time, um, for the very reason that that's not very much a, a common um, bread type thing that we eat in this household. But uh, I wanted to make some bread, but Mark's not eating too much <laughs> bread these days, so. I decided that uh, biscuits might be a way for me to get the carbs that I want and not have a whole stash of bread that just sits there and goes stale. So let's get to it. Okay, I've assembled all my ingredients, everything that I need, I believe. Okay, and we're going to start off with two cups of all-purpose flour. Don't need any special flour for this, but I understand that uh, down south they do buy a special biscuit flour but the main difference is that they have baking baking powder included in that flour so we're going to just add it separately here okay so I've got my two cups of flour and I'm going to add one tablespoon of baking powder done one tablespoon of sugar Done. One teaspoon of salt. This comes together pretty quickly actually. So I'm going to do a half teaspoon of salt. Even though the recipe calls for one teaspoon. Okay, so I've got all my dry ingredients done. And I'm going to just mix that up a little bit. Now the next thing I want to do is that I have a stick of butter that I've cut up. Now you could grate this, and but I've already cut it up. So I'm going to add that one stick of butter and I'm going to work it in with a pastry cutter. And the colder the better. Okay, here I'm just squeezing all these little butter bits in and I don't want them all to melt. That's what we don't want, but we do want them uh, made into as small pieces as we can. Okay, looking good. Work all that butter in. Wonderful. Now I'm going to add about three quarter of a cup of cold whole milk. And we'll work that in as well now. Thank you. 
And yes, I did wash my hands before, <laughs> before I started this. Okay, it is nicely coming together now. We want to moisten every little bit here. Now I'm just going to get a cutting board to lay this out in. So I'm going to just wipe this all down here and I'll be right back. I do like working on a clean surface personally. Okay. Got my cutting board. I'm going to flower my cutting board. And we're just going to spread this out. Fold it over. And fold it over again. Now we want this approximately an inch thick, so just going to shape this a bit. Okay, so I've got my dough pretty much at about an inch thick, and now we're going to start cutting out the biscuits. And as you can see, there we go. So I'm going to put them in my cast iron pan here. And we should get about six biscuits with this recipe. Okay, we've got four there. Let's put this together again and see if we can get another two out of this. I'm sure we can. Quick fold over. One there. There we have our six. Now I'm just going to roll this up into a little ball and put it in the center. <laughs> okay, that should do it. Now I've got my oven preheated to 425 and we're going to cook this for approximately, let's see, 12 minutes or until the tops are beginning to turn lightly golden brown. Okay, so there we have it. That's my biscuits and I have not made these in at least a year. Okay, so while my biscuits are baking and I'm, and I'm looking forward to having some with mm, maybe some honey on it or possibly some peanut butter. I love peanut butter. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to have one before Mark even gets home. And if he wants to share them with me, I'm more than willing to share. So that's really up to him. But at least I don't have a lot of bread just sitting there going stale. So I understand 
very much why folks make biscuits. It's very quick and easy and you really don't have to uh, wait any time. You can whip it together in half an hour. Yeah, very nice quick item to make. That and cornbread. I think I'm going to make some cornbread the next time too. Hmm. I haven't made that in a while either. Anyway, uh, for those of you that might be interested, yeah, it's pretty exciting what's going on in the election in the U.S. Well, the election's over, but the prepping for the new administration and hopefully uh, everything goes smoothly. Let's pray that uh, there is no ugly hiccups, but so far so good. It does appear as though um, if there's going to be a smooth transition. Let's hope that's the case. And uh, yeah, I know people are just shocked and amazed at some of the choices. And some of them, I think, are amazing. And uh, well, we'll see what happens. So i uh, not going to get too deep into the waters. Um, I'm sure that things will uh, pan out one way or another. Let's hope these wars can be stopped and other wars prevented. I mean, that is definitely um, very high on a number of people's priority list. Certainly most mothers out there, I think. Anyway, um, as soon as those biscuits are done, I'm going to show them to you. So let's get to it there. Okay, my biscuits are done. They're out of the oven. And any of you who have had issues with the weight of cast iron, yeah, I chipped my stove. <laughs> it is too heavy for me too. So anyway, uh, I've got my biscuits out of the oven. Just came out right now. And I've got my jar of honey. I've decided that I'm going to smother them in honey at least one and have one right now before Mark gets home. Ouch, that's hot. See how beautiful that is? Okay. Perfect. Lovely. Wonderful biscuit. And I'm just going to leave these here for a few minutes. Break this up. Dribble a little bit of honey on it. And I'm going to have myself a nice little snack here. I've got my water with a dehydrated, well, actually fro freeze dried lemon in this. And I'm starting to uh, take advantage of those and use them, and I really like it. Anyway, I'm going to go have my snack right now. So, uh, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Oh, and by the way, they did have to cook a little longer than 12 minutes. I think it was closer to 15. That's it for now. Bye bye.